as we talked about previously, Carrie Lake seems pretty clear um, to have the intention, clearly having the intention of running for Senate in Arizona. And this is bad. I am very much not looking forward to this prospect, but it definitely is a real one. And so I have a recent example of this where she's indicating clearly she's going to go for it for sure. But before we look at that, to remind you the first time this kind of came, came up in an interview, as we discussed previously. I know that polling has been done showing that I would beat Kirsten Cinema, And I've had, I'll be honest, I've had many, many people reach out to me and, and all kinds of people reach out to me uh, suggesting that I run for Senate. My focus 100% is on my election lawsuit. The people of Arizona were done wrong. Their sacred vote was trampled upon. And I am fighting to restore honest elections in Arizona. I, I you know, I want to be very uh, obvious here, and I'm speaking something very obvious. D.C. is messed up. It's corrupt. Arizona is corrupt. And we need good people in the Senate, in our governor's office, at the, at the state level and at the federal level to fight this corruption. So I am focused right now on winning this election. Right now, that type of language, polling suggests I would beat cinema, but right now I'm focused on this, but we do need good people in Washington as well. And that's a clear indication, but even more explicitly here more recently. Some people are clamoring for you to run for the U.S. Senate. I, I had a lot of people reach out this weekend over it. We got Gallego running. Cinema might run. Therefore, there's a very clear lane for a three-way race. Is this something you're interested in, something you're entertaining? What are your thoughts? Uh, yes, I am entertaining it. I mean, my number one priority is our court case. And I have full confidence in our court case, and I have hope that we'll get a judge to do the right thing. But I'm also looking at um, what happens if we don't get a, a, a decent ruling in that. Mm -hmm. And they want me to go away. They want our movement to go away. I represent we the people. And if they want us gone so badly that they're willing to steal an election, then uh, I'm not going to let them have that. I won't go away. And of course, the election was not stolen. Um and she continues to spread that lie. And what we've talked about in the past is maybe right after her, her gubernatorial election, she was thinking to herself, all of this is about me anyway. So how, what's the best way for me to launch myself into another endeavor, another goal? Well, the Senate seat could be an opportunity for me. And the best way to raise a whole lot of money and stay very relevant in the MAGA base. And to have that movement behind you is to be the victim of a stolen election that didn't really happen. And so that's been her story. Now she was setting that up before anyway, she was going to claim it was stolen no matter what, but she's definitely using this as what I think to be an energy uh, provider for the movement so that she can be launched into a Senate run because she doesn't want to just have to respectfully with a sense of, care for our democracy, move along. Now, if she would like to run for something and not lie about our election systems, that's one thing. But using that to fundraise as she's raised $2.5 million since her election, after her election, she's raised that from MAGA. That could be her strategy here. And it's terrifying to me because while in the run for governor, she needed to reach out to moderate voters and she didn't because of her election lies. The Senate run, it might be a three-way split with someone such as Gallego on the Democratic ticket, Cinema as an independent, and then if Carrie Lake ran, she could win with just the MAGA base. And that could be the whole plan here, which is terrifying because if she continues to have this voice within her movement and power if she were to win, that is another step in the direction of our democracy being hurt in so many ways and it can only survive for so long and only so many people in power can hold the views that she holds before we do lose um our democracy and then i love the good people of iowa it must be noted that in politics and national politics there is for the most part one primary reason people visit iowa and go to events of uh in iowa and that seems to be the case here. She is appearing at this meet and greet hosted by the Scott County Republican 
uh, women organization and is going to be appearing in Iowa, which is often something you do if you're eyeing Nash something nationally, especially presidential, vice presidential. And so I think her plan is either I'm going to run for Senate or I'm going to get on Trump's vice presidential ticket. And if Trump shows that he's not actually interested in that, then I'll go ahead and run for Senate. Again, all speculation, but this is what I think is going on behind the scenes with Carrie Lake. She wants to get into some position of power somehow, and if it is vice presidential or it is senatorial, either way, that poses a whole lot of danger to our democratic process and to our country. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show hours before all the clips are uploaded to YouTube, plus get the full bonus show every single Saturday, you can do so by going to patreon.com slash Luke Beasley. That's patreon.com slash Luke Beasley. Link in the description.